Hey, welcome back everybody. I'm your host Rick Kojak and today uh, we're going to be doing some Master Hunter challenges. Um, so the one thing I love about Red Dead Redemption is that this game has so much depth to it outside of just a single player campaign that it's going to take a, a ton of time for any one person to completely master this game. Um, but you know, one of the things I did like about it is that they were going to have like hunting in the game itself. And so you could see actually this is where you could find the... Um, the different challenges um, in the game and completing these challenges of course will get, grant you different um, unlocks or different uh, in this case tools skills sorry not skills but uh, different equipments or different gears is what I meant to say um, so if we go to challenges and we go to master hunter we can see that these are the challenges itself so you have a total of 10 challenges so today I'm gonna, in this video I'm going to be focusing on master hunter 1 challenge which I need to skin 3 dares simple enough but we're gonna have fun knocking this out and uh, at the same time while we're doing that we're gonna look at a compendium and then we're gonna look at animals discovered now I started a brand new game uh, for my second playthrough for my good choices so everything is pretty much undiscovered and the reason why I did that is because I wanted to catalog me finding these animals while I'm recording versus just trying to beat the game in single-player mode so as a result everything is pretty fresh my second playthrough will eventually be my main play playthrough as I document and chronicle everything that we come across. Obviously the white tail deer is the, the first deer we hunted in that story mission and I haven't really discovered anything else as you can see from the 12 pages. So everything is pretty much a blank slate for me to get started with this. So we know where the white tail is, that's an automatic from playing the story mode. So the rest will fill in as we do more studying etc. Alright, so let's get started with this one. So instead of showing you like just gameplay of me actually doing the um, challenges itself, I'm going to summarize the cha uh, challenges as I complete them to make it just like more uh, brief and just like provide a quicker, um, you know, synopsis. But in essence, um, I found this challenge easiest to complete right after you get to your first base after you leave the Snow Mountain um, chapter. And over there you see, um, over in this in new um, base area for your gang, you run into a lot of deers in that area. You can actually um, study a couple of different deers um, between doe deer um you know white tail deer as well as maybe uh black tail deer i believe is also in this area too so it's a good area to kind of rack up on this challenge and complete it really quickly so i recommend just like riding around the area um until you get like a couple deers um you can go out further if you want to get more deers um but if you get in a situation where you find yourself riding really far just to get deers um or catch a deer is available i'd recommend you go back to your camp and sleep for like maybe 12 to 18 hours and then the deers will come back in the vicinity come back closer to your camp so that's like a nice little tidbit for those who are looking to try to keep um you know because keep your hunting within a small distance away from your camp um and the reason why is because you don't necessarily have to carry the carcass back to to base to get the um to complete this challenge you just have to skin the deer so technically you just keep skinning until you're done but i know for some people they like to actually take the carcass back to their main base to pearson so they can get money for that and also contribute to the camp so if you're done if you plan to do that and take the body back to the base and you know to the butcher then yeah you do you would benefit from sleeping and having it kind of reset um the wildlife to come closer to your base your camp so that we could actually um use you utilize that to actually get more carcass to your base faster versus if you're just only focused on skinning then just go run you know ride all around until you skin three deers and you're pretty much done with this so um yeah just wanted to summarize that for you anybody who's looking to get a challenge um challenge number two is a bit more difficult in that you have to actually get perfect rabbit pelt so i will be doing a video on that um in the near future but if you like this type of video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys out there uh master hunters Bye.